Plasma Big Screen is back in action. After a period of quiet development, the KDE-based TV interface has recently seen updates thanks to a renewed push from contributors stepping up to revive the project. Originally launched around 2020, Plasma Big Screen aimed to provide a comfortable TV interface, complete with navigation optimized for remotes and controllers. Initially, it was closely tied to Mycroft, an open-source virtual assistant, but the project lost momentum after early 2023, when Mycroft ceased development and Plasma transitioned from version 5 to version 6. Fast forward to the past few months, Plasma Big Screen has seen fresh activity, notably sparked by a KDE contributor who decided to spend a week rejuvenating the project. Initial housekeeping tasks quickly led to more substantial changes, significantly enhancing both the UI and backend. The revamped big screen UI now sports a more streamlined home screen. Gone are the old shadows and cluttered panels. Instead, there's now a clean, flattened layout that reduces visual noise and improves navigation performance. A new, intuitive search function using KRunner makes finding apps a breeze. Users can now quickly access their favorite apps without the need for endless scrolling. Additionally, the settings interface has also undergone a major facelift now featuring a neat two-pane layout and a dedicated sidebar for effortless navigation. Settings modules, ranging from audio and display to Wi-Fi and KD Connect, have been completely reworked to be more TV-friendly, making the user experience feel cohesive and modern. One notable improvement is the updated application launching feedback, which mirrors the responsive system seen in Plasma Mobile, providing users with clear visual cues when an app starts. Lastly, Controller support has improved thanks to the Plasma Remote Controllers repository, which enables Xbox controllers and TV remotes via HDMI CEC to be conveniently mapped to arrow navigation keys. For those eager to dive in, testing the updated Plasma Big Screen is as simple as flashing Postmarket OS onto a Raspberry Pi 5, compiling the shell, and plugging into a TV via HDMI. Popular apps like Kodi and VacuumTube have been confirmed to work seamlessly. Despite these advancements, Plasma Big Screen is far from perfect at the moment. According to the dev, there's still a lot of work to do. No virtual keyboard, yet. So typing requires a Bluetooth keyboard. No clear roadmap. Should Big Screen focus on media apps or stay a general-purpose tvOS? No official release. Distros dropped it after Plasma 6, so getting it back into KDE's release cycle is a priority. Still, the project's revival is showing some real promise, so we'll be keeping an eye on how it develops.